Hi everyone, I wanted to uh, talk to you today a little bit about praseodymium. Uh, specifically, these are the lucite cubes that we sell that are 5 centimeters, 50 millimeters per side, uh, as pretty much all the cubes that we make are uh, this length. And here you can see uh, a sample of praseodymium weighing a couple of grams or so uh, inside and uh, this is what you could expect to get uh, from one of these cubes. Uh, these metals uh, samples are free-floating inside. They're, they're um, unoxidized to a large extent, although you know there's always some trace oxidation because these, this is a metal that's very uh, delicate and reactive in air. You can see here another sample. Uh, excuse the dust that collects here um, but and these can uh, all show more or less the same uh, the samples are always different but you can hear it clinking inside uh, this is pure praseodymium metal and this is what the ampules look like before they're sent to casting uh, you can see a bit clearer here uh, hopefully and note how beautiful this sample looks. Once it's in open air, fortunately it turns dark very quickly and starts rusting uh, to a mess. Uh, praseodymium in particular rusts green. Uh, you get a greenish sort of white mess on your hands, but this is what it looks like when it's about as clear as you can get it. You can see here that it's reflective and it will stay that way basically forever as long as the glass doesn't break, which of course these cubes make it happen uh, because there's no way to break these pretty much. You can throw this on the floor, you can throw it at a wall and <laughs> it's fine, it'll stay that way. Um, the way they keep the uh, praseodymium looking so sharp is... Uh, keeping it under argon gas. Argon will make sure that nothing else, uh, it's, it's not, it's chemically inert of course, so uh, at least these bits of this metal will stay looking uh, fully unoxidized forever. I repeat myself, this is Rasiel for Lucigeria. Thank you for watching.